Hello, everyone, and welcome back to your boy, The Sean Davey Way Show. Please hit that like and subscribe on the way in. Tap that bell if you would like to be notified of all of our future content. Today, I bring you a quick video on Bernie Mac's daughter. Janice is the beautiful and only daughter of Bernie Mac's, and she's coming forward per request of fans of how she feels about the interview done on Club Shay Shay with Cat Williams and Shannon. Here's what Janice had to say about it. Uh, lots of contact about my thoughts on the uh, Cat Williams interview on Club Shay Shay, the interview heard around the world. <laughs> And I don't know, my it, my take is probably going to be really, really boring. Um, number one, I want people to keep in mind, my dad has been dead for 15 years. So I have not been fully immersed in the world of comedy. I don't know the ins and outs of that like that anymore because my end has been gone for 15 years. You know, I've got friends in the game, but we don't sit and talk about, you know, stuff like that. So. I don't know Cat Williams. Uh, never met him. That's one person I never did get to meet when my dad was alive. But from everything that I've ever heard my dad, you know, say, he's always seemed like a stand up dude. So I have no qualms, no quarrels with him. Um, I thought the interview was hilarious, entertaining. That man dropped so many uh, one liners that I'm sure we are going to be wearing down to the ground in this year of our Lord 2024. But, um,. One of my biggest takeaways in watching people's responses was how people were kind of like, oh, that's kind of sad, like, outside of being, you know, tickled by it. And I've seen people say stuff like, it's like watching, you know, your uncles go at it, and you're like, oh, why can't we all just get along? Well, I mean, because everybody doesn't get along. Like, I think that's one of the mis conceptions about comedians, and I guess it's due to the fact that what they do brings so much joy to others that the perception the expectation is that behind closed doors everybody gets along everybody just it's just said love and no it's not it's they've always been competitive like i it's always been um as far as i've ever witnessed in watching my dad it's always been um kind of cutthroat like you'll have you know people beefing like same as in within your family just because y'all related don't mean y'all all get along right it's comedy's no different um but for me cat williams has my utmost appreciation and respect for giving my dad his props and his flowers and i felt like it was genuine there are some people who have given you know my dad his flowers now that he's dead that i'm looking at like you know doggone well he wasn't doing it when he was alive and that not just famous people just people all across the board as my dad used to say you ever want to be loved by everybody you ever want to be special just die it's real easy to give lip service when somebody dies and you oh they were so wonderful and that's not how you felt when they were alive but when cat spoke of my dad for me i felt his heart i felt that it was genuine shout out to janice i appreciate her coming forward and speaking on what cat williams had to say about her father you could tell she was very appreciative of the things Kat said. And here's the big takeaway. I don't believe that Janice was happy with what Kat said because he was giving her father flowers. I believe she was happy about it because while her father, Bernie Mac, was alive, he did speak highly of Kat. He only said nice things about Cat Williams and how he felt that he was genuine. And Kat was giving her father his flowers while he was alive. Cat Williams was a big Bernie Mac fan and Bernie Mac definitely loved him some Cat Williams. But I believe Janice felt from Kat was him being genuine because her father, again, stated the same things. He gave Kat his flowers while he was alive and Kat gave Bernie his flowers before he passed away. Now let's get into the other counterparts that weren't as genuine as Cat Williams. Let's start with Steve Harvey. There was definitely bad blood between Steve Harvey and Bernie Mac while he was living and before he passed away. So, he states that the comedian game has always been pretty cutthroat from her father's perception. Of course, everybody will want everybody to get along, but just like Jenny stated, not everybody is going to. And Steve Harvey and her father were definitely those two people. And I feel that when Janice is referring to basically fake love and people not giving you your flowers and the game being so competitive is that there are lots of chances that people are going to end up not liking each other, not getting along, and not really 
supporting one another because there is a lot of competition and it is very thick in the comedian world. Just because comedians are funny does not mean that there aren't other sides to them and some people show their sides more than others. Steve Harvey is definitely one of those people that does not give people their flowers because he is so competitive and feels as if there can only be one. He and Bernie did not get along. Bernie Mac passed away with them not getting along. And I think that that is the energy that Janice was pushing more so of saying, Steve Harvey is fake in so many words. I don't think she wanted to say it out loud and she doesn't have to, but she's definitely talking about Steve Harvey. Bernie Mac had beef with other comedians, but it did not get as intense as it got between him and Steve Harvey. Again, Janice said out of her own mouth that it wasn't just her father's peers and other celebrities that did not give him his flowers or may seem kind of fake when it came to him, not actually being happy for his success, but acknowledging it because the world was. And he used to not receive any fake energy from Kat. She feels that Kat is 100% genuine in the things that he is saying. And I believe that Janice is stating throughout this short live that there are other people that were not. Because if she wasn't referring to that, why bring it up at all? She could have just simply said, thank you, Kat, and walked away. She made it known that there was other people that did not give her father, his flowers because of jealousy and many other reasons. I love you all. Shout out to Janice. Rest in peace, Bernie Mac. We love you always and forever. Until the next show, I love you all. Bye.